This week you can win an AK Ice Cold in field tested condition. To enter, like every week, like, comment and subscribe and react to the posting on my Discord server linked below. The winner will be drawn live on my Twitch every Friday and Monday at 17 CET. Also a quick shout out to all my boys on Patreon. If you want to learn more about CSGO trading and want me as a 25-7 trading coach right at your hand, you can find all of that there. Thanks! If you have CSGO skins, congratulations! If you own them since before the 22nd of March, many congratulations! Because since Valve has announced Counter-Strike 2 back then and also started a closed beta, the game, the player numbers and also the prices of the virtual skins have received an insane boost. And any of those numbers have never been so high in the history of Counter-Strike. I mean, just for some numbers. Since the announcement of Counter-Strike, the whole average player race grew to nearly 900,000 players, which is a gain of over 55,000 individuals. Second, the Twitch viewers of the game went up by around 30%, which to be fair is hard to track because of esports events and so on. And last, the average average increase in price comparing all CSGO items is around 23%. With many items like for example the famous Doppler knives reaching an increase of over 50%. That's a lot of money. And with price increases like this it is not surprising that many big people in the scene, companies, investors, traders and of course YouTubers which often hold an inventory worth many thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars, gained an insane amount of profit. Of course, profit is not a real profit until you sell the item, but it is still incredible. And many, for example me, sold a lot of items. So for those with good grades in being a little Sherlock and noticing things, might have realized that Mr. Neon here is not only a CSGO trader but also a CSGO YouTuber and talked in a video about his $100,000 inventory. So I have sold a lot of my stuff before CS2 was announced. I mean there was the, the, the chance were really good and it's in the end it happened that way that CS2 would create a big hype and everything would be fine, all these CSGO skins would just be transferred, everything fine, but there was still the small 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 chance that they would duck something up and say haha now skins are not tradable anymore or something like that. So I wanted to be safe. But still things turned out really ducking well for me. So it's YouTube, we need to catch a title. So welcome to how I made $50,000 just by owning CSGO items. After this message of my sponsor. This video is sponsored by SkinsMonkey.com. SkinsMonkey is an automated CSGO bot trading site. They offer a huge amount of skins to instantly trade to, 24-7 live chat support and a 35% bonus on every cash deposit. With our referral code NEON you can get a free up to $5 bonus on your first trade when exchanging items worth at least $100. So like you can see here I've calculated a little bit and found this cool deal on SkinsMonkey. I also use my $5 bonus, I just selected these 5 items out of my inventory for these two gut knife safari matches field tested. I even got some leftover balance on the side which I can use for my next trade. The two gut knives were on trade logs so I just saved them onto the side but some days later I could just withdraw them to my steam and as you can see here I've got a really good upgrade and with my bonus code also a really good deal. So check out SkinsMonkey right now, link to the side with my bonus code is in the description. Just to make it clear from the beginning, this is not a video like Hey oh guys, check out my new Bugatti, my Rolex, my Louis, what was it? Louis, Louis Guision, I made $50,000 per football field selling boogers online, haha. <laughs> no. We want to look at what actually happened, both in my inventory and in the CSGO economy after CS2 was announced. And of course see what we can take away from that, maybe also for the future or your own items. Because the value I gained over the last weeks is not only just because the items increased in price. There are a few more interesting effects and factors here that we will analyze and see how we can maybe use them in the future. So let's start with the market in general. After the announcement and the release of the beta of CS2, and most importantly the information that CSGO skins will be converted to CS2 and improved, the big doomsday that some have seen with Source 2 has not come. 
So skin prices, no matter what, jumped up by the hype. The special focus was on skins that benefit from the new game and the new game engine, especially the new lightning effects. First, there were the new AWP models, so Pink TD Pad, Pit Viper or similar, which were removed later, but for some reason they had a colored scope, which they didn't have in CSGO. Second, yes, the lighting effects. And pretty fast it would realize the shiny knives just look way better in Source 2, which started a big hype around Dopplers, especially gems of course, Damascus steels, Vanilla Stains, Fates, Tiger Tooths, Marvel Fates and many more. Third. Valve talked about updating some older skins, which let items like the Orb Lightning Strike, which clearly looks really outdated, jump up by 25% in a single day. And that skin is already expensive, holy moly. But some of this price change also came from something I call the Devil's Circle of CSGO items. You see, after the announcement, several effects started that all pushed each other even further. On the one side you had the really high demand of skins because of the just the hype, the FOMO of course, investors getting in and of course new players coming in just wanting CSGO skins. And on the other side you had comparable low supply leading to high case prices and trade locks. And in any economy there's like a certain limit a price will reach because when Bitcoin for example gets up like 30% suddenly, many that just bought it will just resell it instantly because they just made 30%. But with Cisco skins you have to wait 7 days to do that. I do not think that this is changing the market long term because in the end you still have the same amount of buyers and sellers, but when there is a hype like that it can really make a difference. All these effects have also led to an insane increase in case prices. Because when skins get more expensive, suddenly you can open cases with a better return and suddenly the cheapest case on the market is 1 euro. What the duck? <laughs> which then results in less cases getting opened and so on, it would just get more expensive over time. And this has never happened. I mean, we had this that people said, yeah, we're running out of cases because suddenly cases were not 3 cents anymore. Good times when they were only like 10 cents. But this has never happened. And it will be really interesting to see how Valve will handle these high prices. Will the case prices stabilize themselves? Or will Valve step in and increase the drop rate of cases? We will only know when we see it. I think there is the possibility that they will increase the rate as they make most of their money from the keys. So more cases in total means more money for Valve. Of course they're still getting money from the case sales, but comparing that to the key, it's comparable low. So Cisco item prices are insane compared to one month ago. But what has happened in my inventory? At the point of the announcement, I was having a nice dinner with my girlfriend when I suddenly started getting a lot of sale notifications on my phone. Especially my two Orb Lightning Strikes were bought within minutes on several marketplaces. So I knew that something must have happened, so I went to my PC and repassed all my items and did a lot of stuff there. As this was the evening before I went on my 16 day vacation in Japan where I plan to do not trade a lot, this was kinda bad. So I decided to keep it safe and list my items at 110% buff price after fees on some items even more. And while I was in Japan, I sold around 70% of my whole inventory. I pretty much sold everything for way way more than before of course as the demand for skins was just insane. Some of my items I at least said you couldn't find on many sites, only on Buff or the Steam Marketplace. And they were just overpriced a lot or people didn't have balance there. And this is quite still persistent until today, because just many items are on trade lock. Some of my items, especially Doppler gems, sold for, at that time, around 130% buff price, which is just insane. So if there is a big hype like that, there are just not enough skins on some sites and people sometimes just know this one side or just have balance there, so they maybe will settle for a higher price. In that case, it is not uncommon at the moment to sell your items for more than 100%. This, combined with the insane demand I experienced since I am back, made my inventory grow by around $50,000. I am just speechless. I mean, what can I say? I do this since 2015. It's just crazy. So what can you take away from this? First, never underestimate the stupidity of CSGO prices. 
I can't just say it like that. Many things, even I as a CSGO trader for eight years have deemed impossible, just whoop, happened. The whole market went up by 23% on average. Cases start at one dollar now and many have doubled in value. Even the trash I'm asked because everybody called a failed investment just tripled in price. I mean, what? Second, be aware of the volatility and risks that CSGO skins have, especially right now. Of course, pretty much every investment people have made over the years was a profit. But that's not because everybody is smart and just took the right choices, but because the market has been an uptrend since it was created. Maybe ignoring the depression after the 7 day trade lock. These are happy but risky times and they will most likely stay like that until CS2 was released and sometime after that. So if you have money in CSGO, please be aware that it can also go the other way and prices can crash again. Free, trade, buy, sell and invest smart, not emotionally. FOMO, so fear of missing out, is when you invest into something that is in big uptrend and you are afraid to not be a part of it. Problem here is of course that if you see it's in an uptrend, it's already went up and you are in an increased risk that the uptrend is already over and it turns into maybe a downtrend. And also be aware that at this point anything can happen. And in my opinion, investing or buying items at the moment feels more like gambling than strategic money spending. And as my last point guys, just be careful and don't forget if you're doing this, have fun. Yeah, I think that wraps up the video really, really good. Do not forget to join the giveaway, my boys. I am Neon, and I'll see you guys in the next one.